Hello, everybody. Welcome to Laughter Talks. And I am so excited today because I have a very special friend. And before I even let my very best friend speak, I'm going to introduce her because this gal deserves a fantastic and special introduction. Now, this is my today, my good friend and mentor, Kathy B, is with me. And Kathy B is a TV producer, host, musical playwright, an award-winning singer, songwriter, and the CEO and founder of Touching Lives Media Incorporated and PR Productions. Her productions are her multimedia company specializing in TV production, music, public relations, and the internet. And Kathy is the queen of the internet. Kathy B is here today to talk about her newest projects, one of which is discovering more about dreamers, dream catchers, and dream makers. And she's got a lot going on. And Kathy B, welcome. You are here. And I thank you so much. Thank you for being here, my friend. Woo. Thank you. What a nice welcome. Thank you so much. Wow. Oh, you're welcome. So I, I am excited because uh, we're going to be, you're, you're having a great three-day workshop you're going to be doing, and I'm going to be at it. And what I'd like you to do is just, I want to throw the ball in your court. Tell us about what's going on with dream catchers, what that means, and what's happening. Well, the name of my project is Do the Dream Extreme. Is In life, sometimes, you know, we, we want to make our dreams come true. And a lot of times we don't have the people in our lives that we need or the funding or the time or the knowledge. And so that's a lot of pieces that you need to put together. Sometimes people will get lucky, but getting lucky doesn't mean you can replicate, duplicate that process. And that's what is important in life. I'm 68. I don't mind telling my age because I've been here every year empowered woman <laughs> so there's many chapters and i've always looked at a project as if somebody else can do it so can i however i know that i need to learn how to do it and so basically with that i created a game and a game called do the dream extreme mastermind because you and i marguerite we belong in a mastermind group and we met a long time ago from Women in Film. And basically, I was in a mastermind group before I met you. Because mm -hmm. there were things I wanted to do. And I was a member of Toastmasters. And I remember there was these guys. They were like having, you know, they're, they're doing their mastermind group. And I said, well, I'd like to join. And they said, you can't because it's just for men. Mm -hmm. uh, well, okay, what if I have a mastermind group that's just for women? Exactly. So back in my mind, I'm going, I started scouting and looking for people who wanted to be, who wanted to grow, who wanted to just take a year out of their life and make a project happen. And I found there were four of us. And it's a good, four is a good number. Yeah. So yeah. we had four people and in one year, every one of us was able to complete our dreams and we all were from different backgrounds and we met once a week and yeah. my challenge was at the time i was offered a position at the downey regional medical center to be on their corporate board and i said yes but it scared me it scared me to death what am i going to do i'm a singer songwriter well of course i produce tv shows but i've never been on a corporate board and how do I do this? Well, the ladies in my group, my mastermind group, they helped me. One lady said, you are a unique being. And she said, they don't know what to expect out of you. You don't even know right now what to expect, but you can learn and you could do your best. And that's the best you can give them. Go do it, Kathy. Say yes, go make it happen. I was on that board for 11 years. Wow. I didn't know it was that long. Wow. Came the chair of the board. And this was a major hospital in the, in the Downey yeah. where they were the biggest employer. And on the corporate board, 
when you were the chair of the corporate board, that meant you made major decisions in people's lives in the hospital and her board, and there were boards under you. And so it was something I thought, this is so valuable, mastermind. And, and I like playing games, like board games. I know you do. <laughs> because they're fun and you, you relax. And I was thinking even with the Do the Dream Mastermind game, how, you know, part of it, you ever been on a scavenger hunt, Marguerite? Oh, yeah. Back in the Aren't day. Are they fun? Oh, yeah. Well, there's a little element of scavenger hunt in there, too. So I want, it's a three-day challenge. I want to teach people how to mastermind, how to have fun, how to complete their goals, and most important, how to build your team. Exactly. And that's crucial. That's crucial. You need a team. And that's really what your mastermind process is teaching people, the organization and the team you need. So this is very beneficial. So tell, tell us more about how people, it, does it cost anything? How is that well, working? it's a free, it's a free three-day mastermind. Uh, and what it, it we're doing is I'm teaching you how to play the game uh, because you really, when we go to like events and we network, there's a lot of times where we, all we get out of it, I'm going to pull something here, is a, you know, a, a card. You know, we yeah. get a business card out of it. And we take that yeah. business card home. And then what do we do with it? We put it down or or we, maybe we'll email somebody or something. But then there's no connection. We just disconnected. How many times you felt like that? You paid a lot of money to go eat chicken and for lunch and you hear <laughs> a speaker. And then basically you get home and disconnected so this yeah. way you don't no you get you have an opportunity to take action and you get to know like and trust people because you're putting them in an interactive environment mm -hmm. where you're building their people help we're going to be on zoom and so that makes that we can have all these people from all over the world because now we're so connected with Zoom. That just is so nice. I'm yeah. telling you, that it's just great. Yeah. It, it, it's it, amazing. It, it's amazing what we can do. So basically, when you come in, we're, you know, the most vital thing that we have some sheets too. Okay. Free <laughs> worksheets. But, you know, one of the, key things that people need to know and then we'll, we'll work on this and help with this is what is your dream so you're a dreamer you have dreams what is your dream because when you're clear about you what you want in life then you can tell others Ooh, then you can build your team and so basically day one of there's a three day right An hour for the day we start at my time 10 o'clock and we're looking at dates we'll put it down at there but it's, it's the june the 27th 28th and 29th 2023 we're at yeah and you're three days so the first day we need to people come in and we need to know who you are and what your dream is so we're going to work on that and if you already know your dream you get to listen to other people talk about their dream and you get to tell what your dream is and that's so, so inspirational <gasps> Yes, yes, because we all start somewhere and it starts with the dream. Yeah. And, and if you want to think about the mastermind thing on the overall is great big corporations, great big leaders, people that you read about. Guess what? None of the, one of the number one things they do is they mastermind. But why aren't you in their mastermind? Because they didn't choose you because they don't know you. You've got to know, like, and trust somebody. So I'm giving this opportunity for people to come join us, come play with us so that we can know, like, and trust you so that we can form these groups. Why? So that our dreams will come true. And I can highly recommend this um, from personal experience with you. As you said, we met masterminding. And I just like to share with everybody, I knew nothing about the industry when I started. I came from a different background. You were ahead of your time with the internet. And now I just do so many things. And that's because of the mastermind process. So thank you so much for bringing that into the women. And the, see, you didn't sit down. 
You stood right back up and said, the men don't want me. I'm doing it my way. So good for you. And I also wanted to mention uh, to people that might not know, your song Carousel that you did was playing uh, as the intro music and the exit music on this because you let me use that for my movie, The Racists, and it's a beautiful song. And I wanted to thank you for that publicly because it's just amazing. So um, you also have other things that you're working on. And I, I would love if you would tell us a little bit about your footprints uh, with uh, Mary Stevenson, a little bit about that. In 1979, I came to California and I came out here as a singer songwriter. Uh, I was good, going to do some music uh, I needed to go into the studio and it was the Steve Miller band fly like an eagle. Oh, I remember their, yeah, their yeah. band. were going to back me on four songs. So that was up in San, San Francisco. So I, I'm here in California and uh, you know, I'm staying with some people, some friends, me and my first husband, and we'd fresh off the road. We've been on the road with my band for four years. Wow. We're off the road. We're at the, we got a call from uh, people who were hosting a show at the Palomino in North Hollywood. Wow. So I, it, it, you're a singer songwriter, you're an entertainer, right? And you, um, I'm in, I want to go Hollywood, Hollywood. I get to sing in Hollywood. So I'm all excited. I got this gown and everything on and I get to this place and it is a bar and they've got <laughs> the peanuts on the floor. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and hey, and everything. And I'm going, okay, and I've got this beautiful gown on. So it was my time to get up and sing. And my name was mentioned, and I get on that stage. And the, the band, sometimes the band in that day, late 70s, right? This was 79. They treated women like, oh, yeah. the chick singer. Well, those guys didn't know me. Yeah, and I played five different instruments, right? I just immerse in music because music was my first love. Yeah, that's how you started out. Two years old, I started singing. And I, again, immersed myself in, in other singers and just love music. I love the energy and the audience. So when I turned around, they said, what are you singing? I said, Blue by You in the key of B flat. And they all went, oh, she knows her key. <laughs> <laughs> Knocker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So when I, after I sang Blue by You, then this lady was at the bottom of the stage when I came off the stage and she goes, oh, I love that song. I want to invite you to my home to have some spaghetti. And I'm going, oh, home cooked meal. <laughs> I can do a home cooked meal because when you're on the road, you eat a truck stop. <laughs> I went to her home and I saw all these poems and everything that she had on her walls. And oh my goodness, there was footprints in the sand. No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me back up. There was a poem about child abuse. Oh. From the, the, uh, the point of view of a little kid. And she said, you'd like that? She brought out a whole big box of poems. And in it was the poem, Footprints in the Sand in this box. Wow. And I said, Mary, Mary Stevenson's her name. Said, Mary, Mary, you've got an old 1939 copy of Footprints in the Sand. Why is it in this box? She said, I wrote it. And I, and said, I was so shocked when you told me because they, they've been selling it under anonymous. Oh, and all truck stops, anonymous. All the truck stops we ate at all those years of being on the road. My mom gave me a copy anonymous a little credit card size copy of footprints in the sand with jesus on the back of it and she gave it to me when i first got on the road when i had my first gig because she said i want you to be cared for i don't want to have no. to worry about you here you put this in your purse and so i grabbed that out of my purse in front of mary and i said it says anonymous author mm -hmm. unknown and she says, and that's why it's in the box, because nobody believed me. Wow. And I, I was so embarrassed. I was so embarrassed. And I said, Mary, I'm sorry. I'm going to help you. I promise you to make people recognize who you are to help you become author known. Now, that was in 1979. Yeah. 
little did I know that the next month I was going to get pregnant with the one I want the fruit. <laughs> I'm going, the rabbit died. <laughs> so, remember the, they used to, used to infect the rabbit? The rabbit died. I got pregnant. Well, now, now Mary has passed away since then, and there's yes. a lot of history yes. there. But yes. you're doing something now because it's been very painful for you. Oh, and so what is your project? Oh, Tell us about years. the duck. I I have the original she gave me, that 1939 poppy. And we had a forensic scientist authenticate it. And my heart, I wrote a book called Footsteps My Journey when I turned 60, because I said, I need to tell this story. Is And where is that available? I'm going to put that up while we're talking. That's Look on Amazon. Okay. Steps My Journey is on Amazon. Okay, so people and can get that. They can, they can, yes, they can purchase that. So I, I said, okay, I want to do more. Because see, I vowed, she had a book deal. She's the reason I was in Women in Film, because mm -hmm. I was helping promote her book deal so we could get a movie Marla Maples yeah. Trump, she was going to play Mary in this movie, and we got went a different mm -hmm. way, and it just all kind of, everything that happened didn't. January 6, 1999, she's in an unmarked grave. Aww. There's no stone on her grave. Aww. Now, on Memorial Day, she put flowers on everybody's grave that she knew. She always was helpful and loving and kind, and I said, this is what God has his way, because what a tribute. Mm -hmm. No, she didn't have no little stone. She's got a big monument that you can see That's from the freeway. So wonderful. <laughs> That's so wonderful. Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I And oh, I know that, yeah. Oh. But my, I'm not over. I'm not done with this. I'm going to do the documentary. Okay. Yeah. And I'm going and, on. And you're, you're in pre-production for it, actually, yes. right? Yes. Yes, we've been working on this um, since August last year, and we're in pre-production because I want to do a journey. It's in mm -hmm. my heart, too, because it's footsteps my journey. And part of it is to go to you, Marguerite, in Tulsa, to go to different places where footprints. Mary was from Pennsylvania, Chester, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. and then she moved to Oklahoma, wow. and she lived there, and then she came, went back to Pennsylvania and when she went to California and you're going to see, I wrote a song that was supposed to be my part of it was a song. And then on the song, uh, you're going to be able to see Mary. Oh. She's in our music video. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the song, it's called footprints, footsteps, footprints in the sand is the name of the song. At the end of the song, it's one set of footprints in the sand and her hands go up and she looks to the sky she was in a wheelchair and she stood up and looked to the sky and it, it closes out that song. That's what it's going to be. Beautiful. I can't wait till, you know, that's going because I want to be a part of helping you with that and everything. It's so good to be prepared this way. Now, everybody, you've heard this. If you want to learn how to do what whatever it is you want to do, uh, because we all have different goals, you'll have to do this three day challenge with Kathy B. It is free. It's for a limited time. And what are the dates again, Kathy? Kip, before we close out, can I brag on two people? Three. Absolutely. Absolutely. My daughter, Carrie. Mm -hmm. Carrie sings with Smokey Robinson. She's one of his background singers. Mm -hmm. My son, Wes, he's a rocket scientist. <laughs> Marguerite calls him Monkey Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's funny. And my husband, who's a two-time national champ, Don Hampton, he's a former drag racer. I've got to brag on those three people because they have supported me and been a part of my entire life. I'm going to be at Kathy B's uh, webinar, and I highly suggest everybody join us. Do the dream, yes, dot com. Do the dream, Do the dream yes, yes, dot, dot com. com. And there's the mm -hmm. information, or Kathy B dot com. There okay, and so they can reach you. And Kathy, thank you so much for being here today. This has been a joy and a pleasure. And I will see you because next week we do our masterminds every yes. week to keep in touch. Yes. And I'll see you then. And thank you so much for sharing and being such an inspiration. And I love you too. We, 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 I always. We are we. We are we. <laughs> we are we. <laughs> I love you, Kathy. Thank you so much. 
Bye, everybody. Make sure you subscribe. When no one ever wins.